Hello everyone. How are you all doing today? I hope you are all doing good from wherever you are watching this video from. I am personally doing good from my end and I want to welcome each and every one of you to our YouTube channel. If you are new here kindly, remember to subscribe to this channel and also turn on the notification bell so that every time we have a new video, you will be able to get notified. For our returning subscribers, welcome back and thank you for your support. Thank you for always being here for Harry and Meghan. And now, looking into such kind of stories, I am here to share with you. So first of all, it's all about Camilla and Charles' Australian tour. My people, that is something that I do believe it's irrelevant to me i am seeing this as some um, quiet news no one is interested basically because it all began with a lot of controversies anyway my people why am i here for the same it is because of the comparison that arised and these people still can't accept that harry and megan's australia tour was perfect and they don't accept that they can't compete now, we have Tessa Dunlop and she has said, Queen Camilla isn't popular in Australia because of Diana and Meghan. So, my people, I'm here to unravel that story with you. And as you all know, they touched down in Sydney, Australia on Friday evening. But I don't want to even get deep into whatever they have done since they stepped on that country. I am here basically to read you a piece from the Daily Mirror so that you get to understand the reason to why I am here for this video. So, here we go. When Camilla's Australia tour with King Charles won't be easy due to less agreeable crowds down under, an expert has warned. According to royal experts and historian Dr. Tessa Dunlop, with all eyes on the king, it could be a trip that Camilla finds particularly difficult. She explained to the mirror that the press corps have flown in and the king has postponed his cancer treatment. Everyone is set for Charles' first tour to Australia as monarch. Headlines have been full of it. The political snubs from Australians' premiers to the pared down itinerary an absence of walkabouts. Will Charles visit down under seal the deal of Republicans or set royal hearts a flutter? My people, you know, I am just sharing this with you so that you get the point of Camilla being irrelevant. And now, first of all, before I even refer to Tessa Dunloop's message, I want to say Camilla isn't relevant at all. Not even because of any other thing, but because of the racism she has. And my people, Camilla is trying to put herself in a very diff difficult position. She is trying to show herself as Megan or maybe Princess Diana, but she can't con compete. Honestly speaking, Camilla is not of that class. It's especially so wild that Charles and Camilla's tour is the first major Australian tour after Harry and Meghan's 2018 tour, which I think we have looked into that story for the longest time now because the comparison in the media were all about Harry and Meghan's Australian tour that actually went viral and it was widely successful. Now the connections. Six years later, as you have heard, Harry and Meghan were wildly popular. Meghan was regarded internationally as a bridge to the future for the monarchy. A breath of fresh air. A woman of color who was uniquely situated to modernize a state and resist institution. And to also drag the colonialist mess into the 21st century. And right after that tour, the Windsors began campaign 
to drive Megan out by all means necessary. Camilla herself was a huge part of this campaign, just as Camilla's fingerprints were all over every part of Diana's misery. That is what I just wanted to make it clear. Camilla noted that Megan is a very unique lady and she was part of this campaign driving Megan out. The same thing, Camilla has been part of Diana's mystery. So I hope you now get the point to why I am talking of Camilla trying to compete with the two ladies, that is Princess Diana and Megan. But Camilla will never reach that point. Honestly speaking, she can never be Megan. She can never be Princess Diana. And first of all, from the images I am seeing, Camilla's smile is so horrible. And the entire royal family needs to stop with these gunning and jazz hands. It's so unattractive and undignified. Anyway, that is just by the way. And my people, I want to listen to your own opinions on what Tessa Dunloop has said. Do you think she is right? Just according to your own tech. What do you think about Dunloop's comment that Camilla isn't popular in Australia because of Diana and Megan? For me, I took that statement differently. I understood it differently that, you know what, Camilla isn't popular in Australia because of the dirty work known of and comparing her to Diana and Megan, it's totally different. That is according to my own tech and I will stand by that because what I know is that Camilla is trying to compete but she will never reach the level that Megan and Princess Diana reached. Kindly let me know what you think about the entire story in the comment section. You know, it's becoming tough for Camilla and the King in Australia. I'll actually update you on anything that will come up, but personally, I didn't want to focus on the same because there is nothing interesting at the end of the day. That is all about today's video. So my people, kindly comment on what you think about Tessa Dunloop's statement and tell me how you understood that. Tell me what you think about it. It would be so nice. Thank you, my people, for watching up to this particular point. Before the end of this video, I urge all of you to consider subscribing if you haven't done so. And please like this particular video. Also share the link with your friends and family so that we grow to a bigger one. Always here for such kind of updates. Until next time, goodbye.